Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe and explain the shape of the current potential difference graph for a diode. You should then be able to describe what's meant by a light emitting diode and explain why they're useful. In the last two videos we've been looking at the current potential difference graphs for a resistor and for a filament lamp. Remember that the current through a resistor is directly proportional to the potential difference as long as the temperature is constant. However, the current through a filament lamp is not directly proportional to the potential difference. And that's because the filament gets hot, so the resistance increases. Now in this video, we're going to look at two other components. These are called a diode and a light emitting diode, which is also called an LED. So here's a symbol for a diode, and you need to learn this. Now the key feature of a diode is that the current through the diode flows in one direction only. That's because the diode has a very high resistance in the reverse direction. I'm showing you a diode in a circuit here. If we look again at the symbol for a diode, we can see it contains an arrow, and that shows us the direction that the conventional current must flow in. So here the current's flowing in the forward direction, and the diode allows it through. But in this circuit, I've turned around the cell, so the current's now flowing in the opposite direction. That means that the diode will not allow the current to pass through, and again that's because the diode has a very high resistance in the reverse direction. So if we take a look at the current potential difference graph for a diode, we can see that no current can flow in the reverse direction. However, in the forward direction, the current increases as the potential difference increases. So what this means is that diodes are extremely useful for controlling the flow of current in circuits. Now, another component that's extremely useful is a light emitting diode, or LED. So let's look at this now. You'll almost certainly have loads of LEDs in your home. We find them in almost every electronic gadget, for example, in the flash on a camera, in LED light bulbs, and in LED televisions. Here's a symbol for an LED. You'll notice that it's the same as a symbol for a diode, but it has arrows coming off. Now, an LED is just like a normal diode. It only allows current to flow in the forward direction. However, unlike a normal diode, an LED gives off light when a current flows through. LEDs are an extremely energy efficient source of light, which is why they're so useful and why we find them in so many appliances. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on diodes and LEDs in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe and explain the shape of the current potential difference graph for a diode. You should then be able to describe what's meant by a light emitting diode and explain why they're useful.